Hey, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com. It is a little bit after 4 o'clock on December 15th, 2010. This is being brought to you by FreeChartVideos.com, using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. This video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make those investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's look at the S&P. All right, here is uh, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days of trading. And uh, we've pretty much got the, the, uh, the salient features marked here. Um, yesterday, when we broke this uh, lower rising channel line, I said that, that looks to me like, uh, like we're going to be in for some weakness uh, coming up for the next few days, and it could be the beginning of a uh, of what I would call a, a short-term a, a counter trend. And um, so, lo and behold, you know, we rallied up a little bit today. And I was thinking maybe we get up to touch this line at uh, 12:46 and change, and it just did not have the steam to do it. So uh, the S&P fell back. You can see here, too, that we uh, had three bottoms that formed and lined up quite nicely, even if you want to count this one right here, which uh, really that's not a bottom because this was uh, just a, a, a continuation gap here. But uh, anyway, we look at this, and uh, and you see these, these three bottoms. That gave way um, late in the day. And you can see where things bounced. I didn't move this line, by the way. You know, uh, every now and then I will mess around with the line, to, but when they're, when they're, when it's a little bit open to interpretation. But this line is exactly where I had drawn it, uh, over this small inverse head and shoulders. And uh, lo and behold, there we go. It touched there, and it bounced. However, it, it was then turned back from this line, which is derived from these two peaks. So, and now is where it gets interesting, because when you break a channel like we did up here, it, it, it may not always be the, the correct thing to include a, a point of data that is within that channel. Um, I'm doing it to show, to show you that there is some room for interpretation here. Let me show you where it is. If we leave these blue lines where they are right now, you might expect that this is going to be setting up for a run to 1246. And that may be what's happening. The only thing is, we did break this. It did come back, and then we broke it again. So this line right here is not offering the kind of support I would really want to see out of a descending wedge pattern. Now, if we let this point go which is in the pattern, and instead we look at the, the, the way things are happening outside of the pattern, then all of a sudden, instead of a descending wedge, it's possible that what we're setting up here is actually a descending channel. And they have two completely different uh, uh, expectations. A descending channel, you just expect it to keep going until finally it breaks. A descending wedge, you expect it to never get lower than the apex of that wedge. So we're going to have to, to watch this tomorrow and, and uh, see what's happening because if this is a descending wedge, it makes some sense because the apex is right here at the same level as this neckline and that makes perfectly good sense however I don't like the weakness of this bottom line um, so anyway that's uh, that's the S&P 500 I just wanted to give you this brief update uh, today uh, the markets were weak as we as we discussed uh, they would likely be today and um, I'll remind you, if we break this line, which is around 12.34 and, and, uh, and a little bit of change, 
Then uh, we've got another line down here around a little bit le uh, under 12.28 that uh, is also um, intersecting another line. So we've got a number of areas of support uh, to, to catch us if this continues to trade down. My hunch is um, I'm kind of expecting it to do that, but... Uh, We'll just have to see. This is this is definitely in uh, in in what they would call uh, in, in an area of investor indecision. Uh, if you were to look at uh, at a candlestick uh, chart, you would see that today we we uh, well, I don't, it's not really a shooting star because it, it it was not it did not make a new high, but but it is not a very uh, it's not a very bullish candle, uh, but. By the way, I'm going to, one of these days, do a little piece on candles as opposed to five-minute charts. Um, because you can, you can, a lot of times when you see a particular candlestick pattern, uh, the, the common wisdom is they say you need to get confirmation. But uh, the more I study candles and the more I study five-minute charts, the more I believe if you look at a five-minute chart and not just a candle, you can get your confirmation bef before that second day. And anyway, we'll get into that at some other point when it's appropriate. Um, again, I'm mostly in cash, and I have a, uh, a short ETF right now as a hedge against uh, uh, what, I, what I do have. So I'm, I'm about 55% uh, cash. Of that, uh, of the 45 that's invested, I've got maybe 20% sh short. So anyway, hope you guys did all right today. That's the S&P 500. And uh, please, when you get a chance, come on over to freechartvideos.com. Join our forum. We're having more people post. I want to get more people involved. Uh, like I said, what, what we want to do is we want to create a super stock trading hive mind. And uh, we just need more bees. So buzz on over to freechartvideos.com. And uh, we'll uh, make, do another video. Oh, tomorrow I'm out of town. Eh, we'll see if I can get a video done or not. I'm, I'm going to be uh, working um, away from home. And I don't know whether I'll be able to get one done or not. If not, I will leave some comments uh, at, at the website, freechartvideos.com. Take care.